All right, so Glock clones like this Bull Armory axe cleaver right here are nothing new to the market. But this axe cleaver from Bull gives you almost everything you could want in a Glock action style pistol with all the custom features, but at a far cheaper price point. When I got the axe cleaver in, I got it cleaned and lubed up and got right out to the range with it. The first thing I noticed about the Bull cleaver was the trigger. Not only did it have a great tactile feel to it, the performance out there was so much better than a standard Glock style production trigger and even many other Glock clones, even some custom aftermarket triggers. It just had a flat better feel and performance to it. It also has more neutral grip angles, something more like a 1911 style, which just works for me and many others out there as well. The recoil was extremely controllable. I noticed that immediately between the ledges, the texture and the way the gun fired. It just felt great and you could run this thing as fast as your little trigger finger can get it working. I ran this pistol not only from the ready position, but from a holster and concealment as well, because never owning this before, I just wanted to get a really good idea of how it was going to feel, what the grip texture was going to be like drawing it from concealment, and of course, overall that holster fit and how that flared magwell may, may not print or may rub into your body since it's integrated into the frame. I have to say it aims and runs effortlessly out on the range with its more custom tuned trigger and just the overall design of it. The three dot white sights were easy to pick up and seemed to be right where I wanted them on target when it came time to press the shot. Out on the range, I ran 115 grain basic ball practice ammo and some 124 grain spear gold dot to ensure it would run reliably on self-defense or hollow point style ammunition. All right, one of the other things you wanna test when it comes to a clone style pistol or if you buy aftermarket are the magazines, right? So I tested not only the Glock factory magazines, Gen 3, 4, and 5. I also tested P mags. I tested ETS mags. I tested the longer Glock 17 and larger mags just to see if everything was going to fit and run properly. I also made sure I ran some that had some extensions on them to see if there would be any issues. Now, while running the full size P mag, I did have a failure to feed, which was crazy because it was preceded by a failure to fire. So I've never had those two right in a row, whether it was one before the other, either way, vice versa. But I've had a couple of these DRZ uh, rounds that were bad recently out of the last couple lots that I received and it's cheap practice ammo, so that doesn't surprise me. Um, I've had a couple of issues with PMAGs over the years, and they are not my preferred magazine. I know others love them, but for me, I just find they don't last as long as others, like the ETS mags or just the factory mags are better all around. So besides that, this thing ate all of the ammo I threw at it, and it felt quite good while doing it. Now, if you guys have had any experiences with certain branded magazines out there not functioning in their factory Glock, or Glock clones, definitely let us know in the comments below because we all need to be safe with what we're using out there. We have definitely got to get a closer look at that trigger right there. As you can see, that's pretty solid. So we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of pulls on this so you can get an idea of what it looks like, feels like, and what that weight is gonna be. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a good up close and personal look at the trigger on the Bull Armory Axe Cleaver. As you can see, very nice flat face design. There is some machine marks in the front of the trigger shoe safety itself right there. And it does go all the way sub flush. So overall, a great feel. There's your take up, brake, very little creep in this trigger, reset, and a brake. So it is pretty solid. So let's do the pulls. We're gonna do three and I've busted out the manual gauge because my digital one seems to be giving me some errors. So we'll go ahead and pull from where I like to pull, which is as far down as possible. Let's see what we get for that first pull. Almost four pounds and let's say 10 ounces right there. All right, uh, that one is just under five pounds. So probably four pounds and like 14 ounces. Last one here, unless we get something really weird. All right, that one broke again under five pounds. So four pounds and probably 12, 14 ounces right in between there. So not bad. That trigger has not only a great look, it feels a little bit lighter than that to me on the range, a great interface and overall performed very well for a cloner. All right, let's go over some of the basic specs here on the Bull Armory and what makes it stand out. And then we're gonna talk about what I think it needs and of course get into some of the holster fit. 
So the Bull Armory Axe Cleaver is a polymer striker-fired 9mm, also known as tactical Tupperware. It's got a very aggressive grip texture. It has a double undercut on that trigger guard so you won't get Glock knuckle. It's got a great factory trigger for a Glock-style pistol, an extended beaver tail, an extended slide stop, accelerator ledges out in the front so you can really get a hold of this thing to control recoil, plenty of pick rail for all your lights, lasers, mini bayonet needs, aggressive slide serrations. I mean, very aggressive once you get their hands on them. Decent metal sights. They're not the best, they're usable. And the ability to use some other Glock parts since it is a Glock clone if you already have them laying around. When it comes down to what you're going to get in the box, it's going to be the basic plastic carrying case, a lock, a cleaning kit, two mags. Yes, I wish it was three, but that is what is going to come with. All right, the one kind of elephant in the room is the looks of the Axe Cleaver. So with the Archon B type texture and then all the lines and all this stuff, kind of has like an Art Deco aggressive look to it. And from the people that I talked to and asked, it seemed that they either loved it or they just didn't. There was like nobody in between. So before we get into the holster fit on these, you didn't think I was going to forget about the spec sheet and the elevator music, did you? All right, so the three best things about the Bull Armory Axe Cleaver to me. First, the trigger. Like I said, outstanding trigger coming right out of the box on this thing, tuned in very nicely. Two, the grip texture. Very aggressive, yet not abrasive, even when wearing it concealed. Some people may not like the look, but it definitely does its job. And three, the accelerator ledges up front. They are just awesome to keep the muzzle rise down. Now, holster fit. When it came to running this thing out on the range, I found that it fit in all of my Glock 19 style holsters, whether they were light bearing or non-light bearing. So the one I was using from concealment is my Glock 19 holster. So <laughs> it fit in all of them, even the most vacuum formed holsters that I have, whether they had a light or didn't have a light. But if you guys don't remember when I did the review on the tier one concealed MSP holster, as long as you have a Streamlight TLR1 or a Surefire X300, you can pretty much fit any modern pistol in that holster because it locks more onto the light than the pistol itself. Some people may not dig that, but for me, where I have to test a bunch of different pistols where I like carrying different things, it just definitely works. And I'll have all this stuff listed at the build list and the parts list for you. So you can check any of that stuff out, do your own research, and of course, pick anything up if you want. All right, so is there anything I would change or improve upon when it comes to the Bull Armory Axe Cleaver? And there definitely are. The first thing for me, I would love to see the same grip texture all the way up and around the grip rather than change it into those weird lines. The second thing would be on the bottom of the pistol grip is get rid of those cutouts from mag stripping. They're just not needed. Continue that flared mag wall and I think it would be a better overall pistol and would speed up exchanges. Well, my final thoughts on the Bull Armory is it's just a pleasure to shoot out on the range. The performance of this thing was definitely better than I had expected being just another Glock clone, but it turned out to be more than just another Glock clone. As far as that price point, as this exact one sits right here, it comes in at $399. So that is a pretty solid deal for this. Honestly, if it had an optics cut, I would go $499 on this pistol all day because it has everything else you want. Even if you don't like the overall look of the pistol, it just performs. Well, that is what I have for you on the Bull Armory Axe Cleaver, but I want to know your thoughts and if you have any experience with the Bull 9 because it seems to be they are offering a lot for the money. So make sure you get subbed up down below. Let me know your thoughts. Keep doing it on the range. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I will see you all on the next one.